Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, speaking of sparkling, wouldn't you like your car to sparkle like the stars? If you're in Chile and you've got uh, some dirt on your car, you can go to Star Wash and, <laughs> and get your, uh, this isn't a sponsored, this isn't a sponsored video. You can go to Star Wash and get your car uh, cleaned by Stormtroopers and Chewbacca, except this is not an officially licensed Lucasfilm product and Disney is uh, suing them. Yeah, that is the pile of lawsuits involving Disney because like, what we have so far, like just in the last week, there was one the the act one of the actors from Willow suing them because they fell on some steps during a fight scene and and now they can't they got injured and they said that they can't raise their arms right or something. What? So they're suing for that. This happened back in 2021, and now I guess Disney's suing DeSantis and, and the the new board he appointed because they aren't giving them legal documents they want. And and then we'll throw this one on the pile. Lucasfilm is now stu suing Star Wash because Star they're copyright Wash. infringing Star Wars. But in this case, it, we'll look at it. It's a little bit. Yes, it's is, a little involved here. Yeah, I think they're really uh, uh, butting up pretty close to the line. If there's a line here, now what could potentially work in their favor maybe is being in another country. But I don't know. I don't know the law. There, let's talk about this. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if woo you do. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. Uh, pick up a copy of Crimson Ren and previously on Clownfish TV. If you have not previously done so, these books are in stock. Geeky is shipping them out as I we am. speak. So it only takes a, a day or two for those to get dropped off at the post office. You don't have to wait, you know, six months or whatever. Uh, thank you for the support. So yeah, let's let's um, look at them uh, on social media first. Yeah, so this is their social media account. Uh, they're yeah. in San, they're on the outskirts of Santiago, um, in Chile, and this is their car wash. And they have their social media is full of pictures of characters like <laughs> Chewbacca and you know, um, very close uh, Pedro Pascal impersonator working at this car wash. He's Pablo Pascal. <laughs> so you go down, and then there's like yeah, they use Chewbacca a lot. They, they call their their places where they're washing hanger bay like hanger bay. What that's you really can't copyright that. No. Um they have different people dress as different characters. There's other ones with their stormtroopers. We don't have to go through all of them. They have different they bubble fed in there, Darth Vader's in yeah. there, a bunch of Star Wars characters. Obviously, from the logo, it's clearly meant to to be Star Wars esque. Why? You don't say, oh, there's the actual Mark Hamill. He isn't so, you know, yeah, this is uh, this is very unofficial. Now, look, Disney's had some ridiculous lawsuits before they were suing. Uh, I think it was like a daycare or something one time for having a mural up. They weren't making technically weren't making money on that. That kind of stuff is petty. But in this, in this case, if there's a line, they are tap dancing on that line. And yeah. Then, like, yeah, let's base our whole business on uh, this established franchise. So what they look at, usually the trademark office, copyright office, is they look at uh, they look at the potential for brand confusion. And somebody would go to this place and they would absolutely think that this is a. No, I don't know. I, I doubt these people are actually the people working there actually wear these costumes around all day. I'm sure they dress normally. It's just that for social media, they're putting the costumes on. But yeah. if you go to the actual business, I'm sure it's like this person here where they're just, you know, doing, doing a, a, you know, a whole detailing on your car and they're not dressed up as, you know, Mando or Bubba Fett or yeah. Vader. They're just doing social media. But the name, the name is what Disney's taking, uh, you know, issue with more so than the characters in cosplay. So uh, back to the article. What's going on is this place wanted to trademark. Uh, I guess I took it to the patent office to trademark their theming and their name, um, Star Wash. And Disney then launched a suit against them to block them from doing so. Yeah. So now would this have been with the Chili's? Trademark yeah, they or, said it was with okay. their the, the patent office in Chile. Uh, okay. So um, I'm assuming they're looking just for the trademark, the name. But they're arguing, Disney's arguing that, and Lucasfilm is arguing that the name Star Wash isn't Star Wars, but they're clearly trying to create brand confusion and plagiarizing them by yeah. using the same font and all the other stuff. It's McDowell's. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's, the golden, <laughs> it's not the Golden Arches, it's the Golden Arches. Yeah. Whatever. Um. So, yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, their argument is that, and this is actually yes and no. We're going to talk into it a little more. But their argument is that while Disney owns a trademark for Star Wars, their trademark covers a number of categories, but well, car washes is one of them. Yeah. It so, probably will soon. 
Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. So this is where it gets complicated. I know there have been some uh, high profile trademark disputes in the uh, YouTube space. Uh, we ourselves, uh, you know, were in a trademark dispute not too long ago. So what you have to do is you basically when you we won, we did win. We did win. Our yeah. ex partner tried to steal our name. Yes. Uh, whole she, long story, just to be a bitch, but she was a bitch. So she did it maliciously, trying to basically run us out of business. Like it didn't like, work. No, because it's not like buying a domain name. Like you have to actually be using it. You have to use it in the vertical that your competitor is using it. And there is such a thing as like a malicious filing, a fraudulent filing where you basically like if you know there's a Joe's taco stand, but even though Joe has been in business for 20 years, he's never formally registered his trademark. But, you know, he's selling tacos and you open a Joe's taco stand and you're in the, doing the same thing, and then you trademark yours, but you knew he existed, you you could actually lose that trademark to the original Joe because he was using it in business first. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to be in the same vertical right. as, right? There's different ones. Like there's like toys or like entertainment. Books or, yeah, books or web, you know, podcast websites, that kind right, of thing. Right. So where Lucasfilm has Star Wars trademarked across a, a bunch of different verticals, apparently they're arguing car washes isn't one of them. However, um, and, and again, they're going to have trouble too, because usually like words like that are basic words like TV, for example, because we ran when we had Clownfish TV trademarked, yeah. you have to acknowledge that you don't own the word TV because some words like star or wash are not trademarkable, obviously, because a lot of people use the term star and wash. But you're putting them together in this way, in this fashion, with this logo for this business. That's trade. You can trademark that. So Star Wash is not Star Wars. Um, however, I, the issue, I think, comes from the fact that they're trying to brand themselves as you, Star Wars adjacent. Yeah, <laughs> that is that the issue. That is the problem. If this had been called Star Wash and it was like generic science fiction. There are fiction, Star Washes that are not. They're just like. Look, we're a twinkly little star, you know. It's, yeah, you said it was like Venezuela had Venezuela one. Venezuela has a star, a star wash laundromat based on Star Wars. I'm saying that our car wash is called Star Wash, but they are not trying to say that they're Star Wars related. Yeah, I think uh, using the characters in your marketing materials is is definitely going to hurt And the their, fonts and everything else. The fonts, uh, you're definitely going to hurt your case. It's not parody. You're basically like, yes, this looks like like Disney Star Wars. We are So this is what they're going to look at. In my opinion, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to say they're going to look at this and be like, yes, you are deliberately trying to cause brand confusion. So that's where you can actually jump your verticals and and uh, they'll be like, OK, well, wait a second. You're trying to make people think that you're Disney, you're Lucasfilm with these characters. That's what they're going to argue. Yes. Yeah, you can't do that. And Disney has shut down. They've shut down like princess parties and stuff like that. Like, oh, have Ariel and Jasmine and. You know, Moana show up at your kid's birthday party. Uh, then they had to change it to like, oh, it's a fantasy themed birthday party with some princess adjacent characters that don't look exactly like the Disney ones because they're they're banking on that Disney marketing. And, right. Yeah. And these ones, they're like clearly using actual Star Wars oh, characters, yeah, but now yeah. they are, are they aren't apparently fighting the characters. They're fighting this trademark because the name is is brand business, you know, brand confusion. And the owner, though, admits that we got the idea. When we went to go visit Galaxy's Edge, they were in Galaxy's Edge. They didn't say which park, but what Disneyland or Walt Disney World. And when they were there, his daughter thought, oh, we should call it Star Wash. And so they went with it. So he even admits that they got the idea from visiting the Galaxy's Edge areas of the parks. Yeah, that's not very smart. I just I don't I don't know if because, you know, being from uh, Chile, if if he uh, knows how vicious Disney can be. But like they will sue anybody for anything. And usually what it is in, in Disney's case is they basically try to run you out of money. Yeah. And that's what he's saying is going on. Like his business is losing too much money because they are trying to fight the suit or trying to, you know, they're trying to argue that they have the right to use it. Um, yeah. yeah. So they hadn't budgeted for it. and there's, but, but Disney is notorious for, you know, we'll just run you out of money and put you out of business. Well, they know that. They're going to look at this and be like, oh, this is a mom and pop operation. They went and got some, you know, Spirit Halloween costumes or whatever. And they're trying well, to. these are better than Spirit Halloween. Oh, babe. man. Maybe they got some professional cosplayers. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's what they're going to do. And look, I mean, in this particular case, I think Disney actually uh, does have. A case now is it a good look for them to go out there and try to sue everybody using their stuff or whatever? No, but I'm also like if they're using Disney property to market their business, if they were just 
just using the name Star Wash, I'd be like, you don't, no, that's stupid. You don't have a right to claim that. But they're using Star Wash with their font. They're using Star Wash with, you know. They got Luke at the front desk yeah, here. Yeah, like putting characters <laughs> it's like Vader, in. And like, they're using it on social media. Yeah. Um, they're trying to promote it. They're, they are going out of their way, even some of the way they're naming things to try to make it as, as things like it's Star Wars. Personally, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, I guess it's still free advertising, right? I I, I would let it go, but that's me. Well, we're okay. talking about Disney here, though. So here is the slippery slope, though. If they let these guys, yeah, go, everybody else can do it too. What if they, what if they hit it big and they become like a franchise? Then what if they want to move into, hey, we're going to build one of these in Orlando, a Star Wash. You know, we're going to put one in the states. We're going to move, or, or what if, uh, you know, uh, somebody else in the U.S. is like, well, we're going to do a Star Wars uh, sandwich shop. Well, what the hell? Why not? If we can get away with it, let's just let's just do Star Wars characters in our theme park. Kennywood's going to have Star Wars days now, you yeah. know? So then you start to get into this whole, That's like, true. you know, it becomes a problem. Now, where I think Disney's definitely in the wrong is when they go after, like, daycares or whatever, because they have, a like, a Lion King mural or a princess mural or something, whatever the deal was a couple of years ago. That was ridiculous. In this case, though, the whole business is modeled after disney's characters like well, that, that's stupid the daycare that's though stupid and the amount of time and money they spent paying a lawyer to file that they could have got hold of daycare and said hey we you know um we 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 don't want you to have that up because we think it's copyright infringing. But you know what? Why don't we send somebody in to, to, to make, give you something else? Yeah. You know, because it's a daycare. It's not like, you know, hurting them in any way. Set somebody else in to put something else up that was a fantasy-based, you know, fairy tale ish art piece. And it would have been cheaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it would have been cheaper. Else would probably start doing it too. I'm just saying there's ways around that you could have done it that wouldn't have required you to, to sue people, you know, over a mural in a daycare. Are these are droids. Unless they left cease and desist first. I mean, they, give them a warning first. Obviously, they could have given these guys. I mean, they 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 they're they're suing to block them from registering the trademark. Yeah, yeah, but that's how it starts, and then that the, they're going to basically they, look. Disney's lawyers are some of the most vicious on the planet. Um, in fact, we've talked to lawyers who deal with entertainment companies all the time, and they're like, we, we will handle any lawsuit except one involving Disney. Because like it's just it's awful dealing with Disney. I'm thinking this is their droid. This is the uh, SUX69. SUX. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, Don't give people ideas. But, um, but they're uh, using actual pictures, like actual pictures from like Star Wars stuff, and then blowing it up for the backgrounds and putting their. their yeah, thing on that it. I don't. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know if they thought again, you know, we're in, we're in a uh, Chile, so we can just do whatever because it's a U.S. I'm I'm like, if we tried to open a studio ghibli themed car wash here in the states i'm sure we would be hearing from their what would lawyers. you call that cat bus cat bus yes oh man we need to just build a cat bus let's just build a cat so, bus you know, something with soot sprites i don't know i'm just saying you probably like spray the soot sprites off your cat bus you can still um, call it star wash you just have to use you use soot sprites with the little star flake foods and stuff as, as your logo there you go. I'm just like, look, you know, it, it, though you cannot, they, well, they cannot copyright and say you can't use the term star wash, I think, under normal circumstances. And I still think they have the rights to say you can't use it. You can't use the name star wash. The fact that they're they're branding it the way they're branding it is the problem. But they're not. But then Disney's not actually attacking them for that. Though. That's what I don't get. So they. they it's well, not going to get that far. That's it's what I'm saying. Get, it's not yeah. going to get that far. I think they're just trying to run them out of money. Yep. That's exactly what they're doing. They, they look at this and they're like, okay. How can we take care of this problem as cheaply as possible? Oh, this is a mom and pop business. We'll just throw our lawyers at him for this other thing. We'll start with this. If that doesn't work, if then that we'll doesn't go after work. them for the other stuff too. Yeah. But at this point, like this is just a couple of papers they have to file. It doesn't cost them much. I mean, seriously though, it's like, this is a car wash in Chile. Why is this? Because like you said, if they let one go, but That's by the true. way, there's a laundromat in Venezuela too. So That's true. You know, so who knows, guys? Uh, man, I want to. I want a cat bus car wash now. We should do that. I don't want a cat bus car wash. <laughs> do that and get sued. See what happens. Live dangerously. Does your car so like cat piss come down the cat Does bus? Does your car <laughs> come on down the cat bus? No fuss. Cat Scrub bus those sounds like a brothel. Piss stains <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Cat bus sounds like a brothel. Oh. Poor, uh, no, that's a, a pussy a, wagon. I was gonna say. 
clothes. Have you been to the pussy wagon lately? Buy one, get one free this week only. Pussy wagon. Oh, but not everybody can handle the buy one, get one free. Um, so you'd have to have a break in between. But I'm just saying, it's like, like anyway. Okay. <laughs> Hal's moving brothel. It's like a it's like a bus that just moves. It's like you know, this is how we avoid. You go from city to city. City to city. You get on in one city, you might no, get off in another one. Take that as you will. It's like the library bus, right? The kids had the mobile libraries. This is the mobile whorehouse. Just, it's the pussy wagon. It, it, it looks like the cat the bus. Country, and then you know, you, like I said, you might be in another town thirty miles away by the time you're done. But you know, just make sure someone's there to pick you up, and you're good. Yeah, it's kind of like Uber with perks. It never stops, so you have to just like jump on it. Whoa! Um, <laughs> Whoa! Running. She never stops. You just have to jump on it. Well, she's oh my god! How did we go here? How it's did we go you, from from he, Baby no, Yoda? It was my fault. I said it's not like a brothel. It was my fault. I'm blaming you. But then it was. I'm sure they have. I'm sh- like that, and then you took it to. You, I I it. I am sure, given the state of the world, and given I am sure that they basically got Ubers with perks. Like, I'm, I guarantee you, they got cars or buses. They'll pick you up, do the deed, take your money, and then drop you off like someplace you're, you're, else. You've got this little seat section and there's a curtain that gets drawn. I'm sure. It's probably like, hey, we'll pick you up at work. Uh, we'll drop you off at home. She'll never know. You know, just say you got to ride with your friends with benefits. That's what happened. Oh, my God. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap, yeah. Let's wrap this up. Please. Much like you need to wrap it up if you get on a, if you get on a pussy wagon. Anyway. <laughs> Hurry up already. I'm on charge by the hour. No, I meant like so you don't get diseases on the pussy wagon. Anyway, let's go. Let's let's wrap this oh, up. Oh, oh, I got that. <laughs> I got that. You, Things I did not think I'd be talking about today. You met a, a prof- Star Wars car wash at a pussy wagon. <laughs> so let's just please stop. Toot toot meow. Let's wrap <laughs> it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, and whatever that fuck this was. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk later. Bye.